Hi, hello to a new video in uh, my series for people moving abroad and crushing it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so my name is Anya and I, um, as somebody who watched other videos knows, I moved to uh, London and Berlin and uh, for six months and a year and now I'm moving to Barcelona in uh, six days. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this and um, being in this mood of, you know, having all these experiences again, I'm just sharing, you know, step by step what I'm doing, what you should do if you move to um, any of these cities or other ones and like how you should, uh, the mindset you should have and just like to be happy about it and to make it enjoyable uh, experience for you. So the next thing I want to talk about is transport. You know, you have to really uh, organize this whole trip. It can be a bit tricky. I would take a paper and a pen and I would uh, draw. <laughs> so basically uh, you have to think about every step of the way uh, from basically when you leave your house until you get to an apartment or a hotel in this new country. When you are by yourself and you are young, especially, and maybe never traveled alone or with no support, maybe no people to ask for help, you can be a bit intimidated by all this process. And the, my dog is barking, sorry. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so, so basically what you want to do is uh, think about everything. I have to have like a timeline and it's uh, your house <laughs> and then airport and... <laughs> Sorry, I know it can be silly for some people, but actually it's a uh, lifesaver and uh, you will avoid like 20 possible problems. Imagine you miss the uh, plane. Imagine you get to this new country and you have no clue like which bus to take and nobody knows the address that you're showing. Maybe you have a hard time getting internet, maybe there's no Wi-Fi around, maybe uh, you need like internet to top up your phone, which is sometimes uh, a case. Uh, so you want to really be prepared for this because this is just the first day and it probably will be uh, a bit you know, challenging. So we have to prepare yourself for this. And it will take you like five minutes, I swear. <laughs> so basically uh, what I do on my day of planning the transport, um, I book my suitcase um, on the plane because I have uh, you have to book when you have, you want to have a huge suitcase with you. So I would have a bag that's allowed and a small suitcase that's allowed. And also I would pay extra for a big suitcase and in, with this baggage I can fit most of the stuff I need. So this is the first thing I do, I book my huge suitcase. Uh, next, uh, obviously I have the plane ticket. How you look for the plane ticket? Uh, basically you look on Google Flights, uh, you put the both destinations and you go through, you know, uh, it will show you um, the cheapest option, if this is important for you, if you're young and kind of not have too much money, <laughs> it will be uh, important to you that is cheap, especially you don't want to spend all your money on the flight, obviously. <laughs> uh, so uh, you use Google Flights and use it maybe for a week on different times of the day and night, maybe if you have a lot of time to book your flight, like check, you know, after two weeks or if you see a really good price, you just book it, you know, uh, immediately. It's really easy to check it on your phone. Google Flights, really a lifesaver. Many occasions, if you don't use it, then start to use it. Uh, because it shows you all the dates and you can really plan your trip properly. Uh, my flight to Barcelona was 17 euros. I'm not joking. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's really, really good uh, to check different times, different days. When you see the good price, grab it, don't think about it twice. Uh, yeah, so you have your flight and uh, now you book your suitcase. Uh, then what you do is you uh, draw a little timeline on your paper. So you have house, uh, airport, <laughs> 
and uh, then you have your um, obviously new airport, the second airport you will arrive and uh, the new house. So we have four things. Now, uh, the time needed really, I know it's silly, uh, but this is what you have to do <laughs> to avoid all problems. And you wake up on the day when you move out in a different country and you will be like, yes, this is so easy. I can do this. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm not worried. I'm not stressed. I'm just like really chilled out and enjoying this moment. <laughs> so basically what you do is uh, you check exact um, time of your departure and arrival of the flight. So you write on your uh, first airport and second airport where, where you will arrive and you write the times. Now, uh, you need one hour uh, before the flight be there and what I do uh, is that I travel from actually uh, Poland to uh, Germany to my airport because it's it's closer. I'm just living on the border of th uh, these two countries, so it's like well, uh, two hours to get to the uh, big um, airport in Berlin, uh, which is which has always better connections than uh, a small airport that I have like maybe also two hours from uh, my city. Uh, so yeah, I need uh, to take a, a co coach. It's called like a bus. Uh, that will transport me, that is direct from my city to that uh, airport. I have to count like the time needed for transport would be like two hours, but just in case like something happens on the road, I want to be like extra hour early. <laughs> so this means before I leave my house and I uh, my flight, I will have four hours. So this is already a big advantage. A big window to leave uh, for any possible uh, things that can happen. So two hours just on the bus, uh, then one hour uh, extra for anything that can happen on the road, and then one hour uh, on the airport, you know, to find a terminal for the people to take my suitcase for everything for everything you need this time you obviously you would need just two hours if you have like you know half an hour from the airport then you need like two and a half hours and so on logical <laughs> now you arrive in the new airport and you want to also plan your uh, trip with probably google maps if you want uh, what what you know a transportation you have possible um, to go to your house and what I would say, definitely, you can grab a um, taxi if you want, but uh, if you <laughs> are taking just uh, public transport, then check this option to have as little change as possible. And what it will do, uh, especially in big cities like London or Berlin, you will find uh, ways to get to your location with maybe two public transport um, vehicles <laughs> or one even, but if you don't check this, it can show you like the shortest way possible, which will can mean changing to a bus, changing to the underground, changing to the overground, and you want to avoid this when you have like two suitcases. So this is uh, most important that maybe you uh, don't want uh, to reach the, your destination in the shortest amount of time, which Google Maps will um, suggest to you, uh, but you want to get there with as little change as possible. So you want to think about this, which I didn't do at all <laughs> in London, in Berlin. Uh, my friend picked me up, but now I'm a bit better prepared. Um, and yeah, so basically you just want to have your um, printout, like is the best printout, your map. Uh, and uh, if you have to walk, print it out. Uh, really prepare yourself that you don't have internet. You can struggle with the internet, obviously. On the airport you can have Wi-Fi, but you know, you never know what happens. Maybe your phone dies, maybe you can't find your charger, whatever. Just, you know, like be extra prepared and have your map ready, have your directions ready. And also like sometimes I would uh, even ask person on the plane who's sitting next to me, like they are bored, they don't have nothing to do. So I just ask them like, hi, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> uh, and I show them my map, show them my things and ask them, you know, like, have you got any tips? Do you think this is a good uh, choice of uh, how to get there? What do you think about this area? 
if they are locals but uh, of course like um, don't just say to any stranger where where you going to live <laughs> but just if it's a nice person you know it's uh, some girl or whatever um, then uh, people love to you know share their knowledge and help people uh, so especially if they are bored you can see like they have nothing to do you can ask people you know also on the airport sometimes people are waiting you can ask them but never expect the person to explain the whole road to you because probably they won't know it and they will pretend they know it so this happens a lot if you have to ask somebody for directions ask them to use your, uh, their phone with um, GPS if you don't have internet or if somebody is working in a shop then maybe in a, like a local shop not Starbucks because usually people who work there have no clue <laughs> about the place unless they work there for a long time but some like local shop uh, probably it's the owner will be there and maybe they will know exactly you know to explain to you somebody who lives uh, in the area for a long time but what us also you can do in for example London is um, you want to plan your road between airport and the center of the city because uh, what I didn't know for example when I arrived to Gatwick it was a long long ride to the center and then still I had to take all the transportation so you want to book a beforehand uh, you want to also book a couch, a bus or maybe a train. A train will be more expensive, it's like 30 pounds. And uh, you want to book uh, your bus, bus is like 10 pounds I think, or maybe even 7, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you want to book this transport and then check your road, exactly write down times, like give yourself a space at least one hour between arriving and getting to the bus because uh, especially big cities it's huge airports even small airports are huge <laughs> honestly and uh, you want to give yourself one hour then you get to the center and um, you know you, you want to allow this time because you have a lot of baggage obviously if you're just with a bag like this you don't need this much time and uh, if you travel a lot uh, you will think you don't need this time but actually you will discover you will uh, you know be stressed and you will be rushing and you know your suitcase will fall there is no escalator like anything that will happen bad probably can happen it doesn't have to but it can and you don't want to have problems you want to enjoy this day it will take a long a lot of time so obviously like if you count all these hours it's like you know it can be a lot of time even if it's only two hour flight it will actually take many many hours but you will be very tired the day don't plan like any viewings or anything for the day just rest and enjoy um, yes yeah, so when you arrive to the center you want to plan your road from the center to your destination so not from the airport but from the point where your bus will drop you you know and uh, yeah so this is it I think